In this video, we will talk about the theory of natural selection with reference to natural selection as a mechanism of evolution. So natural selection is basically a process or mechanism that results in the change in allelic frequency of populations. So it results in evolutionary change. So we can say that natural selection is a process whereas evolution is the outcome or the change that we observe in the populations. So natural selection is merely a process and it is only one of the several processes that result in evolutionary change. And natural selection may not produce evolutionary change if the trait that is favored or selected by nature is not genetically based. Natural selection or evolution natural selection will result in evolutionary change only if the trait that is favored by nature is genetically based. So for natural selection to occur and result in evolutionary change, these three conditions must be met. So first of all, variations must exist among individuals in a population. It means that for a particular trait, there must be variations among the individuals that are present in a population. If variations are not present, then nature cannot favor some of the individuals. There is no variation. There is no natural selection. Next is variation among individuals results in differences in the numbers of offspring surviving in the next generation. So if there are variations and nature will select or favor the individuals that have the best possible traits or combination of traits that help them to survive in that particular environment. So due to this favor, some of the individuals will be more successful at producing offspring as compared to others. So this means that there will be a difference in the number of offspring produced by different number of individuals that, ha that have different variations. So these variations must be genetically inherited. So it means that if the variations or traits have a genetic basis that can be passed on to the next generation, then natural selection will occur and result in evolutionary change. So first of all, variations must exist among individuals in a population. It means that individuals that are present in a population, they must have variations that uh, can be in their uh, functional characteristics, physical characteristics or behavioral characteristics. The variations must exist among the individuals and natural selection will work by favoring the individuals that have some traits over individuals that have alternative traits. Okay. So if there are no variations, then the phenomena or mechanism of natural selection cannot operate on that particular population. Next is the variations among individuals results in differences in the number of offspring surviving in the next generation. So if variations exist, some of the individuals that have different variations as compared to other organisms will be more successful at reproducing and leaving offspring as compared to other individuals. So they will pass on their genes on to the next generation. So in this figure, you can see that the rock pocket mouse lives on the lava, whereas the apex pocket mouse lives on white sand. Why is this so? Because rock pocket mouse has the particular characteristics that enable it to live on that particular habitat. Whereas the apex pocket mouse has those characteristics that favor that uh, species of mouse to live on white sand. Okay, so according to the environment or habitat, the organisms with the best possible combination of traits are favored by nature. And if these traits have a genetic basis, they will be passed on to the next generation. Next is the variation must be genetically inherited. So for evolutionary change to occur, there must be the, a change in the allelic frequency of a population. So if the variations that are present in a population uh, do not have an underlying genetic variation, means the phenotypically different individuals do not differ genetically then differences in the population or number of offspring will not alter the genetic makeup of that population or there will be no difference in the 
gene pool of the population and hence there will be no evolutionary change so it means that for evolutionary change to occur there must be a difference in the allelic frequency of the population so if a trait do not have a genetic basis then the variation cannot be genetically inherited and the natural selection phenomena of natural selection cannot result in evolutionary change